uh, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, where the flamingos appear on the screen and where my eyes are a little bit small because yesterday we had a evening with the men to have some drinks because one of them is leaving tomorrow. Guys, in today's short EA video, really cool charts. Two of them that you need to see to understand what it feels to be in Bitcoin and zooming out and of course showing you the uh, four hour chart as well just to see where we are at the moment in Bitcoin. So let's quickly jump into the chart. Bam! Here, this is the first chart which should be a chart but there's no chart. This is CNBC and who is in CNBC today, this morning, beautifully, let's scroll down, bam, that family that bet everything on Bitcoin when it was $900, who is it? It's being Bitcoin, it's me, <laughs> really cool, CNBC did another article about us, uh, how do we store our Bitcoins, but that's not what you're looking at or what is it, here in this beautiful video, you want to talk about the price, bam, here, then let's talk about the price, the price is really nice. It's 45,260. I'm looking at it in Get in Oryx, guys. If you want to sign up to Oryx, use the link down below the video um, and you can see there how beautiful it works. It's same like TradingView, but in my opinion, a little bit better because you have the order book, everything here. You can trade directly on Binance or any other exchange that you want. What do we see on Oryx? We see, and that is what I want to show you, that the Bam Bam indicator um, was telling us to short over here and that is why I want to take this example to show you why it is not always a short. Short flag over there. I need to ask maybe Kai to be a little bit quiet. Kaio, can you be a little bit quiet? Yes, thank you. Okay, uh, <laughs> we have a short flag. The whole family is here. 15 people sleeping in my house. So it's busy. Short flag. If there is a short flag and we see a lot of green in the bottom that is not a valid short you need to wait till we see blue and yellow like there and then the red line is on top the orange is in the middle and the green is on the bottom and the bam bam is crossing downwards on that line over there then there is a candle of course closing down below the yellow stepping line and that is a confirmation that you can take that short this is not a really beautiful short but that is why i want to show with you the bam bam is not always perfect it has his failures but I think 8 of the 10 times a good trade is good enough for me. What do we think that Bitcoin is going to do next? Let's see, I can show you maybe this beautiful chart over here, very important. Um, we need to stay now because we claimed the 200 day moving average, like you can see that red line, red orange line, uh, we need to stay above. We closed that candle above the 200 day moving average. You can see it very beautifully. I love it. Uh, two candles now, two days. This candle needs to stay above as well. We need to keep acting above that one. Give this beautiful 50 MA the time to come up and form that beautiful golden cross that we need on the day chart. And when we get a golden cross, that's the next leg up in my opinion. The other thing that you can see on the day chart, which is really cool, is that every weekend we are very volatile but this last two weekends we went up so let's see we have i think it was the 30th of july something that was a weekend and the 23rd so the 23rd that was the friday that was here that when we had the huge pull up you see that and in the week here the 30s also then uh, during the week we went down and in the weekend again here around the 6th of August we went up again and now uh, we are going a little bit down and now it's like Thursday so it will be Friday are we going to do another leg up on this beautiful weekend that is up front of us all positive in my opinion guys let's jump into the next chart here bam over there it's telling us the same story um, but this one shows you that if we don't keep the support at the 200 moving average we can fall back down to this green line around 42,300 US dollar which would also be retesting then that red downward line that doesn't mean that we are going to fall way more down like that but that means that on the day chart we went up we are testing that area again and then we explode because you can see that Bitcoin mostly does these movements like that do you see so that is what I think um, 
Guys, if you want to trade all these charts or the Bam Bam indicator, please go to the BitcoinFamily.com or go to our YouTube channel and down below the videos, you will find all the links to all our social media, but also to all the exchanges that we would love you to sign up to because on Femex you get a 12 hold hold from the dollar bonus, Prime XBT a 50% deposit bonus, buy bet $1610, uh, Binance of course an amazing exchange if you want as well and you can use all these links down below as well you know to to kraken to bitonic to lightbit to buy a ledger yes we just had a beautiful article on cnbc about ledger so why not click my link to the ledger and all these links about traveling many information much mucho information here down below the videos guys let's jump quickly and two more amazing bam charts over here i like this one uh, yes that's the way uh -huh, uh -huh. i like it yeah because if you look at these charts these are amazing you can see the bitcoin halving index which means the halving is at the level one over there and then if you look at the blue line i've sh shown this chart uh, many times before but i want to keep on track on this chart so you can see what is happening the blue line was the one uh, in 2012 halving over here when the, the bitcoin was 12 dollar and the green bitcoin was 650 dollar and the third halving that was in may 2020 bitcoin was eight and a half thousand us dollar so you can also see how the growth and the um, the bitcoin price evolved during the four years after that beautiful run like 700 days so that's like two years did he don't exaggerate the days you see here in the bottom it's up to 700 days so the peak of the first cycle was around 400 days the second cycle the one you know probably from 2017 was around 550 days now this one um, we still need to see the peak because in my opinion if you look at the chart then these areas are all a little bit the same you know going sideways sell off you know and then here is sideways the green one sell off yeah can you still see it and now the black one sideways and sell off and after the sell off we recover and then we slowly come above this dotted line and create this new peak maybe somewhere over there times eight eight times eight thousand us dollar which was the price that the halving is then sixty four thousand us dollar if we go in times 10 it will be eighty thousand dollar if we go times 20 it will be 160,000 US dollar all depending on where the top of the next bull run will be i believe it will be above 150k uh, but let's see the other thing that you can see in this chart is this dotted line you know that is also the line that we pull back to maybe in the future so if we would make this beautiful run and then pull back to that dollar line that dollar line would then still be at eight times the halving price which is 60k so that the new bottom could be 60k who knows all speculating but in this chart you see that we still in my opinion need to have one more leg up beautiful and that will be the mania phase the enthusiasm the greed the delusion and then of course we all get this beautiful 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 bull trap where we can make some more profit guys and then bam this other chart is created by shots btc i share often these charts of charts btc because i just like the simplicity of the charts but now i'm going to put this one over here below 400 so what we can see on this chart guys is that the the first um, um the first epoch we went almost up the way to 50 dollars the second one we went to it to two thousand dollars that's times 40 and now the third one that lets this halving we should go times 20 then we should be around forty thousand us dollar and then times 10 the next one now the third one to the fourth one so that's this bull run should go times 10 for example we should end up at four hundred thousand dollar so that means that we can see that this is still around the 40k level we really need to make a peak like this something like this you know that is what we expect because else the charts doesn't look the same look up and then we come down up and then we come down up and then we come down uh where are we we still need to go up a little bit more and then we will come down that is what i expect guys that was everything for today i hope you really bam enjoyed this video short video and um, if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as i love to respond to your comments and yes i will will take a afternoon nap to get some more energy again after a night of fun and drinking thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again bam